Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. If you're a longtime TechQuickie viewer, you know that we've had reservations about CPU naming schemes for a long time. Intel named a CPU lineup Core 2, even though some of those chips had four cores. Then they gave us Core 3, Core i5, and Core i7, despite the fact that they don't make any processors in any of those lines with an odd number of cores. And then this scheme was subsequently copied by AMD for its new Ryzen series. And between you and me, I've always thought that Celeron sounds more like a villain from a B-movie about eating vegetables. Now Intel is throwing precious metals into the mix. Now to be fair, they are actually used in processor manufacturing, but that doesn't help us understand what exactly it is we're buying. So let's demystify the recently released Pentium Gold and Pentium Silver chips from Intel. For starters, Pentium Gold doesn't mean that Intel has souped up a lower tier chip to be one of its most powerful products ever. I mean, think about how easy it is to get a gold credit card these days. Pentium Gold is basically a rebranding strategy for their standard desktop grade Pentium CPUs, starting with the Kaby Lake generation. And since these gold chips are just rebranded, the good news is that you won't need any kind of special new socket or motherboard to use them. One cool thing is that Pentium Gold CPUs do feature hyper-threading, making them more like what Core i3s were not too long ago. Where things start to get a little less clear is when we get into the Pentium Silver lineup. The name suggests that it's kind of like a less nice version of gold, but it's actually a really different product. Silver chips aren't available in boxes from your favorite online stores. Rather, they are lower power chips primarily designed for the mobile segment where battery life is far more important than peak performance. And although some Pentium Silvers will be desktop variants with slightly higher TDPs, they all use BGA sockets, meaning that they get soldered onto the motherboard rather than being removable by the user. They also use very different microarchitectures. While Pentium Gold will continue to use normal desktop architectures like Kaby Lake, Silver CPUs are built around low power designs similar to what you'd see in Intel Atom processors in compact and mobile gadgets. However, one thing that is interesting about Pentium Silver is that it will support HEVC and VP9 video at 4K. These are compression standards that can deliver high quality video with less data. And with Netflix using VP9, a Pentium Silver could be helpful if you're fighting battery life or bandwidth limits on mobile. If you aren't, Silver also supports 160 megahertz wide Wi-Fi channels. And while channels this wide can actually sometimes cause or be susceptible to interference, they can enable faster speeds if your router is up to scratch. Though this is also true of the slightly lower end Celeron chips that are essentially the same, but have lower clock speeds or fewer cores. So yeah, I mean, the features are kind of cool, but I'm not sure that Intel really clarified anything for us consumers by naming their wares after metals, especially considering they recently did the same thing with the server grade Xeon chips, and that just ended up confusing everyone too. Hopefully though, this clears things up enough for now and Intel won't decide to throw iridium, titanium, and plutonium into the mix anytime soon, which, yeah, I should just probably stop giving them ideas. Squarespace makes it easy to build a simple, powerful, and beautiful website. Like seriously, with their 24 seven support via live chat and email, pretty much anyone can do it. You just pick one of the gorgeous templates, all of which feature responsive design, so your website will scale to look great on any device. You start adding images, you start adding text, and before you know it, bam, you've got a beautiful, functional website. All of them have commerce built in, so you can set up your own online store. Their cover pages feature allows you to set up a beautiful one-page online presence in minutes. And this is new. There's eight new templates for 2018. So start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. Then, when you decide to sign up for Squarespace permanently, make sure you use offer code TECHQUICKIE. We're going to have that linked below to get 10% off on your first purchase.
So thanks for watching. If you guys disliked, hit that button. But if you liked, hit like, get subscribed, check out our other channels, leave a suggestion with a future video. And I already said get subscribed, but I'll say it again. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Subscribe now.